check, check. Tell check. me when y'all ready. Yep. All right. I got a big announcement to make. Here's the announcement. If you have a question about whether I'm retiring after this year or if I'm thinking about retiring or if I'm thinking about moving on with my life or if I'm thinking about signing an extension, I would love for you to ask that right now. And hope, actually, before you ask that or further what I'm gonna say, let me just say this. It would be great for me if everyone would I don't know if respect is the right way. If everyone would embrace the idea that I love being a St. Louis Cardinal, I've loved my time here, and I really want to get the most out of what I'm doing here right now, and I would love to not answer that question for the rest of my life or for the rest of this year every time I do an interview. So let's get it out of the way right now. I'm not thinking about anything past today right now. I'm not thinking about tomorrow. I won't think about anything past tomorrow. What I want to do is I want to be the very best St. Louis Cardinal I can be today. And then tomorrow I want to be the very best St. Louis Cardinal I can be tomorrow. And we'll do that every single day until the end of the season. And then we'll see what happens. If something happens before then, I promise I'll let you know. How about that? I don't think I've lied to you guys too many times. Any more questions? Does that mean you're not thinking about anything? Like, anything beyond today, but you're not thinking that this could be your last year? Nope. So not thinking about anything because I've gotten myself into trouble doing that last year. I, I think I told the story. I'm going to tell it one more time here. Last year, uh, I started off feeling really great. I was pitching not great. And I thought, man, I, I don't want to be not great at this game. And I started looking at retirement. And right when I did that, I started pitching really well. And right when I started pitching really well, I said, you know what? I want to do this for two, three, four more years. I want to sign an extension. And right when I did that, I got hurt. And then it just doesn't work like that for me. I need to be where I'm at. I need to be present. And I, want, I would love um, to come in every day with no distractions and just know that I'm going to work my tail off every single day for these, this organization and these Cardinal fans to be the very best pitcher I can be and the very best hitter I can be. They might steal a few bases even this year. And we'll just see where it goes from there. But uh, I would love for today, which I know it won't be, but I'm going to reference this meeting right here. Anytime I'm asked that question for the rest of the year, I'm going to go, you remember in spring training what I said? I still think that same way. So what day is today? The 15th? Yep. February 15th, 2018. I'm making a proclamation that I'm not thinking about anything past the day that it is at that moment until after the season. Then we'll have a big press conference again and we'll talk about other stuff. <laughs> Do you understand why, why fans can't think like that, though, Adam, yep. with, with, with what you've meant and the success you've had? <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, hoping to, I'm hoping to pitch really, really great this year so that the question is not whether he needs to retire or not. It'll be how many years can we get him back. That would be my goal. And so, but I don't want to think about that right now. What I want to think about is what I need to do today to get better. What does success have to look like for Adam Wainwright in 2018 versus years past? You're going deep on me. <laughs> success to me is, is, is it equals the same thing. We need to, we need to win and, and I need to win and I need to, uh, when I take the mound every fifth day, I need to know that in my bottom of my heart, I can, I can beat that team. I can beat that other pitcher. I can go deeper than him and I've, I'm going to give our team, a team a great chance to win and, and when I do that, things usually work out pretty great. As competitive as you are, <coughs> the, the comments you made at the warm-up about not you can't handle being mediocre, can't handle that yeah. sort of thing. How how much better of an evaluator would you say you are of yourself now versus maybe five years ago? Well, at at no point in time five years ago would anybody have even mentioned mediocre to me. I don't think, um, and so uh, the fact that that has become an issue is a real problem for me and so I'm, I'm that's why I need to I, that's why I need to focus on today because I don't want people ever to say that I'm mediocre